This is almost a surreal experience for North Carolina because we've got a beautiful Carolina blue sky and the sun shining, but we're still going through a hurricane in Robinson County, wouldn't you agree? I would, I would do, sir. And uh, people are suffering right now. People have lost their homes, people have lost their cars, people have lost all their belongings, their medicine, and even sadly their pets and they're still kind of in a state of shock. And the people being impacted most are the people who can't afford it. And we're doing everything we can to respond to their needs. This is a natural disaster, which we've never seen in this area. And uh, this is a natural disaster that became suddenly without, with very little warning, at a much better, bigger degree than anyone ever realized. And it's still a disaster that's impacting roads and power and water and the environment and human life. And I'm sad to report, in fact, today we did lose another life in the state of North Carolina that we just got confirmation on. I think it was in Lenore County. So that brings us up to a total of 20 people that have lost their life during Hurricane Matthew. And even though the sky is blue, Hurricane Matthew is still with us. We've had an average of two people being lost a day since this uh, began. Right now, probably the biggest concern I have is uh, in Kinston and Greenville, Kenson's not going to surge until uh, Saturday, I believe. And I'm just praying that the people stay away from the water. This water is deadly. And by the way, this water is not environmentally clean either. So uh, we've had 20 people die, and I think 19 have been deaths due to drowning, primarily in their cars. And I'm, I just want to encourage people to uh, stay out of the car and stay out of the water. It kills it. This water will kill you.